Good morning, my sisters and brothers. And good morning to all who are online. Welcome to Old St. Mary's on this, our second Tuesday of Easter. And as we go forward, let us first begin with our entrance antiphon. Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Alleluia. And we enter in glad alleluias. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. How about one more time for good measure? Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with us. We begin our celebration on this, uh, on this Tuesday as we live our lives in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ continue to be with you. Sisters and brothers, as we've gathered in this sacred time to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first and foremost prepare ourselves by calling to mind our sins in order to make more room for the mercy of God to dwell within, to take up space, and to do the work of refreshing us and bringing us closer to one another and to the God we serve. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy upon us. Forgive us of our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness for, to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the, by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king, in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. The Son of Man must be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, how can this happen? And Jesus answered and said to him, you are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this. Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen, but you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. It is said that the word community is, if you will, a joining of the words common and union, which is really nice because it talks about the oneness of the group that has gathered together and what they do call a community. But the origin of the word actually says something with, I think, greater gravitas, and that is co-munition, meaning that we strengthen one another, that we, as we gather together, are stronger together than we are when we are not part of this community. But it also calls forth a dedication, a loyalty, a contribution, if you will, and an investment. And we certainly hear about that in our first reading today from Acts and the, in the formation of the early Christian community, how they did gather as one, not just in heart and mind, but in resources and influence, bringing what they had to serve the entire community and sacrificing even for that. It actually does bring to mind a very interesting question as we go about our lives today, particularly when we find ourselves in different communities. Community can look very consumerist, meaning that the question that we ask when we involve ourselves in that community is, what can I get? But if we find ourselves more lifted up and girded, if, we, if, it, if it becomes very meaningful for us to be part of the community to the point where it helps to form our lifestyle, our understanding of who we are and what we are about, then community takes on a more consummating quality, meaning that instead of asking, what can I get, we ask, what can I offer? Or what can I give? And that's what we find in our first reading today. The gospel reiterates this in beautiful ways when it talks about looking at things from the heavenly lens versus from the earthly lens. From the earthly lens, we do find ourselves pretty preoccupied with security, with balance, with, with, uh, with all of our social resources in play. Can I, do I have what I need in order to do the things I would like to be able to do? And is my involvement in this particular group or community going to provide me in those ways? 
But to look at it from, an heavenly, from a heavenly lens always looks at it from agapeic love, which is very sacrificial. And so as we consider the communities that we are in, and particularly the community of faith that we find ourselves in today, maybe the question that we need to ask ourselves is, what am I offering? Taking a page out of Joseph, who was called Barnabas, who sold property in order to fund whatever the apostles was moving towards as they formed that community, to ask ourselves how we're sacrificing for the good of a community that is meaningful for us. That way we begin this process of lifting the name of Jesus higher, not just in what we do, but in what we give up, not just in what we stand for, but in what we offer. And that name, as we lift it even higher, can, by our investment, reach more people. Continue these two greetings, my sisters and brothers. And now, my family, let us stand and offer our prayers and our petitions to our God who hears our every need. We continue to pray for our church in this Easter season, that with her challenges and opportunities before her, all she prays and all she does may illuminate the light of Christ more brightly in our world. We pray to the Lord. For each of us gathered in this holy space, for all of us who, we, who uh, we represent, and for all of us who gather virtually, that as we find ourselves members of this community, we may always uh, invest ourselves into it just a little more deeply to make sure that it is maintained and also grows, and that its evangelization and spirit may reach the ears and hearts of our sisters and brothers who long for this community. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our sisters, our brothers, our friends, and our enemies who are sick or who are suffering in any way, that the healing grace of Christ may restore and heal them. We pray to the Lord. And for our sisters, our brothers, our friends, and our enemies who have died. And on this day, at this Mass particularly, we pray for the repose of the soul of our sister Georgia Dominsky McQuaid, that she and all our faithful departed as they rest in the arms of the Lord may experience the fullness of light and peace, and that hope shall unfold all of us who love them. We pray to the Lord. For the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For the prayers that are submitted by our parishioners who are online. For the prayers entrusted to us by people who know us as prayerful people. And for our sisters and our brothers who feel they have no one to pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, the community of faith that your Holy Spirit has drawn together brings us closer to understanding your love and seeing you more clearly. In the wealth of that great grace, we ask you, hear our prayers that we present to you this day and every day so that we may love you more fully and see you more clearly. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life.
And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. And now, my family, pray that my, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Church, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with St. Paul and the Blessed Apostles, all the patron saints of the people gathered here before you, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now, my family, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give to you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My sisters, my brothers, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. Let us share with one another a sign of the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My sisters and my brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia, alleluia.
and let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring us help in this present life and ensure us for eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Well, by the gift of one of our parishioners, or our visitors, pink boxes graced with God's goodness is out there with a coffee today. So please take part in all of that as we continue to fellowship and strengthen one another in our community. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless each of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Amen. For six more weeks. <laughs> Have a blessed day, everyone. Everyone who is online, please have a blessed day as well. And when the time is right, come join us. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia.